Hi everybody, it's a busy week. So I wanted to step away from my desk and check in with you. Talk about all of the irons that I have in the fire. I kicked off the week with Member Monday. That's where I talk to VIP members and patrons on my Patreon page in detail about the projects that I'm working on. This week, it also included a whole bunch of behind the scenes footage from last week's antics. And I also revealed something really big that I finally purchased. Incidentally, I should be receiving this item tomorrow. So by Friday, I should be able to share the whole thing with everybody. So keep an eye on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. That's pretty much where everything kind of comes together. And on the same day as Member Monday, I posted reviews of two items that I love. The SJ6 4K action camera and this amazing electronic gimbal. I'd never used an electronic gimbal before and now I can never go back. I've not seen any other way to get footage that is so stable from something that's so light and the whole setup being so compact. I felt like such a advertisement when I did the videos, the review videos, but I honestly absolutely love these two items and they really will change how I do my adventures from here on out. Okay, on to the new stuff. Valentine's Day is coming. In the last few days and in the coming week until Valentine's Day, I have been and will be posting rewinds to my Valentine's Day shoots from the past. Um, you can find those on Twitter or Facebook. And a new Valentine's Day photo shoot is coming. It's definitely a tradition. And I try to do something a little bit different from what I normally do, kind of make it a little more memorable. Um, and still keep it helpful to you guys for your own photo shoots. So if it's not already marked on your calendar, you know, with little red hearts all around it, mark Valentine's Day on there and make sure that you tune in on the 14th. Oh, and what am I shooting with this week? I'm actually shooting with the same setup I shot with last week. It's my Nikon 1B1 and the 105 millimeter macro lens. There's this coin collection that has been passed down through my family for generations. It's not an extremely valuable collection by any means, but there's plenty of sentimental value and some modestly rare coins as well. Until now, the collection hasn't been cataloged in any way. So I'm gonna take the macro setup and document all of these awesome old coins. And of course, I'll be sharing some of the results with you guys. I've had great success with the V1, the FT1 adapter and macro lenses in the past. So wish me luck for more success this time. Now I know everyone's busy, but if you have a moment, let me know in the comments what is keeping you busy this week. And I will talk to you guys later this week.